Alright, so this is my video on how to speed up your computer in four easy steps. So, first of all, there is only one program that you're going to need to download, and it is very small. It is called CCleaner. And as you can see, it removes your temporary internet files, cookies, history, and anything else that is not needed after, let's say, browsing the internet. So, first of all, you can either already run the cleaner or analyze. I'm just going to show you what it comes up with when you analyze. I just was watching a few YouTube videos. It removed 6 megabytes. And then I'm just going to click Run the Cleaner to actually remove them. And as you can see, it does it very fast. And if I analyze again, 0 bytes to be removed. Now, if you like installing programs and you've installed uninstalled them after and they're no longer needed, click Registry on the side and this will just scan for unused file extensions unused programs that have been uninstalled so first scan for issues and it just came up with the file extension dot torrent and now you're just going to want to fix the selected issues and backup changes in case something goes wrong i've used this probably hundreds of times and nothing has ever gone wrong but still i always back up as you can see i have previous ones so you can just call it, let's say, the date, so the 12th, 14.08. But for now, I'm just going to cancel and X out CCleaner. The other thing you're going to want to do is use Disk Defragmenter, which is a Windows application. So just access it with Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, Disk Defragmenter, right here. So just click that. And as you can see, my hard drive is 57% free. So if I just click this hard drive, you can either analyze your drive first or defragment it already. You're probably just going to want to defragment it. This will just uh, free up space, organize files internally. It won't change anything for yourself. It'll just free up space and make your computer faster. And this is a Windows application, so don't worry about it. The other thing you're going to want to do is going to start, run, and type in msconfig. Click OK. Now on the top tab, click Services. And these are the programs that will be running once your computer is fully started up. So you can uncheck some, like Apple Mobile Device, if you have iTunes. And you're probably going to want to sort it by manufacturer, so that you don't uncheck any Microsoft Corporation things that could mess up your computer. So scroll down past these Microsoft Corporation so I can uncheck Nero, I already have Apple mobile device and iPod service unchecked. I'm going to also uncheck Punkbuster A and B because I don't need those unless I'm playing a video game. Next you're going to click the startup tab and these are the programs that initially start up the actual EXEs so I'm just going to want to uncheck Zune Launcher, iTunes Helper, Rocket Dock, which is just this dock on the side, MSN Messenger, Nero version check, and another Apple program. You would normally click OK, but I'm just going to click Cancel because it requires a restart for these changes to take effect. So Cancel. Now, another thing to do is a small Visual Basic script that you can create, and I have the script right here. I just called it Speed Up. It's a command that you type in. Now, if you have 128 megabytes of RAM or less, you are going to want to use this code. And if you have 120 megabyte, 128 megabytes of RAM or more, you will use this code. So I have um, quite a lot of RAM, so you're just going to get after the brackets. So just copy that and go into my untitled notepad and just paste that in. Then you're going to want to go into File, Save As. Save it in a place where you won't lose it. Let's just call it speedup.vbs. Save as Type, All Files. And then click Save. And now, whenever you want to speed up your computer, and the way this works is um, it doesn't overclock. It just gives more of your RAM to programs that are in use than to idle programs. So essentially it speeds up what you're currently doing. So anytime you want to use that, remember where you saved it and double click the file. 
So disk cleanup, C cleaner, MS config, and the speed up Visual Basic script are simple and easy ways to speed up your computer. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.